Phil Hill, Corporate Affairs Manager of WTC Wharf. Phil, what can you tell us about floating to the footy? Well, it's a new way of uh, travel to the famous MCG on the Yarra River. So, great cities of the world embrace their, their waterfronts, and and we're hoping um, you know the float to the footy campaign will will get families onto boats, historic boats on the Yarra River, and, and float down and enjoy the uh, the fantastic football of the G. It's a pretty unique experience to get on uh, one of these historic water taxis. This one's carried a few different people. Yeah, it's carried uh, the Queen and uh, was part of the opening of the Melbourne Olympic Games back in the 60s. So it's uh, carried many of the um, champions of, of Rod Laver Tennis, Australian Open champions. So it's got a pedigree of uh, royal family members and, uh, um, and equally it's had some fantastic families, uh, the Melbournians that have enjoyed the experience. So. Phil, the idea of uh, floating to the footy is quite unique. Uh, because it brings together the Yarra, uh, it brings together the major areas on the Yarra, major commercial areas, and it also brings together the G. How do you see, or where do people, for instance, get picked up? Let's get to that one first. Yeah, well, uh, we see there's a great linkage between the MCG Sports Precinct to Fed Square, which is you know the heart of uh, Melbourne's cultural centre of, of Melbourne, to W2C Wharf. So the pickups are the new WTC Wharf at the World Trade Centre, uh, next to Crowd Plaza and Casino, and um, at Fed Square on the way through to the MCG. And there's lots of footy fellows sort of uh, go to Fed, uh, Fed Square to start off with. Uh, they'll be able to get on the on the boat now and yeah, they come can, straight up to the G. They can step enjoy, off. Enjoy meeting uh, at, at Fed Square and walk down the steps to the, to the boat and enjoy a fantastic ride to the. Uh, Footy and relax uh, on a cruise on the way back. So it'd be great for families, I think, to, to experience Melbourne on the air. Really. Let's yeah. just talk about the family idea. Um, what's the cost? That's, everyone likes to know what the cost is. How does that work for a family? Yeah, well, we're deliberately trying to, to, to keep the cost down so it's affordable for, for, for many families, which are was fortunate. So kids are for free, so we think that's great to, to get kids on to, uh, to experience the area. And, uh, one-way trip is five dollars and ten dollars return so we're hoping that'll be very affordable for, for many to enjoy it. Phil so people uh, will be able to, how, uh, you know, how long does the service run? It's running, um, the journey is about 10 to 15 minutes uh, on the, to the G from uh, WTC Wharf through to Fed Square to MCG. And also, uh, what times can people catch it? I mean, what time does the, the service start running? It's running uh, all the MCG games, which are running from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and uh, departs from W2C Wharf two hours before the, uh, the bounce of the ball, and uh, a little bit earlier from, uh, from Fed Square on the way through. Well, the one major question people want to know is uh, what about footy colours? You're allowed to wear them on the boat? Yeah, we love footy colours and uh, we encourage uh, all, all clubs to participate and, uh, and particularly it's great to see kids uh, dressed up for the, the big games at, at the MCG, so uh, we look forward to that. There'd be a lot of ragging rights about getting to the footy on a boat, especially a historic one that carried the Queen. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I think, it, uh, I think people, once they're on the boats, who are really... Uh, it's a new side to Melbourne and, and you know, great cities embrace the Yarra River, so all their waterfronts. So.